Welcome back. Uh, well, let's uh, move away from the insurance news for a bit. Uh, there have been other shares that have been active, and uh, HSIL is one of them. That uh, company completed its QIP offering, raising uh, 250 crore. Mr. R.B. Kabra, president of HSIL, joins us now. Uh, Mr. Kabra, uh, good morning. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, uh, you've done it at a slight discount to yesterday's price. Can you take us through the details? Yeah, good morning, ma'am. Thank you for having me over. Mm -hmm. We have raised uh, 250 crore rupees at uh, 400 rupees uh, price for the share, 2 rupees share. So mm -hmm. there is a premium of 398 uh, rupees. Mm -hmm. And uh, the floor price as per SEBI formula was around 412 rupees. Mm -hmm. And uh, approximately 3% discount has been given on the floor price. Mm -hmm. Because the issue was closed yesterday and uh, the share price probably shot up after that. So okay. there is not a huge discount. Discount is only 3% and normally the discount goes uh, 5% but we could manage at 3% discount. Okay. And that was possible because we had very overwhelming response uh, for the issue. What was the name? What were the kind of people who responded? Was it uh, domestic institutions, foreign institutions? Yeah, you are right. Uh, there were both uh, institutions were there and all good names uh, from India like HDFC, Kotak Mutual Fund, Fairing Capital, Sundaram, Reliance, all these people were there and uh, from foreign institutional investors we had uh, uh, Prince Street, we had Kotak Offshore and few other names. So very, very good names have participated in the issue. Okay. Mr. Kabra, morning. Uh, how will this 250 crores be used? How much of it will be used to pay your debt and how much for KPEX? No, the, everything uh, uh, will be used for uh, repayment of debts, okay. as was mentioned in one of our uh, uh, resolutions uh, passed by the board and shareholders. Because uh, the CapEx plan, what we have is already funded and for that company has uh, enough cash generation, so we don't require okay. these funds currently for the expansion. Okay, got it. In yeah. that case, can you tell us how much your equity has increased and uh, uh, how much your debt will fall? So what is the current debt equity and what will it be after you pay down the debt and increase your equity? Because, uh, as I mentioned, we have raised 250 crore rupees and at a 400, so we have issued 2.5 lakh. lakh shares. Okay. And uh, the equity will be dilution by around 9%. Mm. And uh, the current debt levels were around 1,000 crore rupees. Mm. Now they will go down to 750 crore rupees. Okay. okay. Uh, can you just give us a sense of how much your interest costs will go down by um, annually? Yeah. The average interest cost for us currently is around 9%. Mm -hmm. So around 22.5 crore rupees per annum, the interest cost will go down. You were, you were doing about 75 crores? Uh, a, a year in terms of interest cost? Uh, so now that should come down to around 50 crore rupees. Okay. Uh, yeah. What is the uh, sales uh, trajectory? I mean, uh, you said your capex plans are completed. So what should we expect Not in terms really of completed. Sales? What I mentioned that uh, we had completed a large capex of 120 crore rupees on our faucet plant, which mm -hmm. went into production only July last year. Okay. And uh, this year, uh, the, we are expanding our both sanitary wear plant. We are adding around 4 lakh piece capacity and capex will be around 50 crore rupees over a period of next 12 months. <coughs> and then we would be working on a greenfield plant in Gujarat at a cost of around 150 crore rupees. The work will start sometime next year and it will take two years uh, once we start. So what I mentioned was that the company has enough cash generation to fund all these capexes, okay. the internal generation, so we won't be requiring additional funds for that for borrowing or for capital raise. Okay. All right, uh, Mr. Kabra, we'll leave it at that. Um, congratulations on completing your QIP. Uh, that's the word coming in from HSI. The stock was up about 9% uh, or so in trade yesterday. But uh, let's uh, talk about the Nifty itself. Today could be a big day because we have so many positives. Rajat Bose of RajatKBose.com uh, joins in. Uh, hi, Rajat. Morning. Uh, what is your own view on how to approach the index today? The Nifty has anticipated 